I think I know when my husband really started to make me feel known. You see, I was a student here at Cedarville, and he was just my boyfriend. But I knew it because, well, I'll just tell you, I was sitting in my dorm room at Willits studying for finals late at night. Now, if you know me, there are a few things in my life that are just signature Dana Gresh. They are my things. And one of them is a perfectly crafted hot fudge sundae. And it has to be just right. I mean, hand-dipped ice cream. Do not give me soft serve. Anyone? Hot fudge, whipped topping, nuts, and perfectly ripened, not too mushy, bananas. It has to be just right. And if you dare to put a maranchino cherry on my sundae, I will smack you. <laughs> well, I'm sitting there studying, and someone knocks on the door, and it's one of my hallmates, and she's holding in her hand the most beautiful, in a silver platter, hot fudge sundae I have ever seen in my life. And it doesn't have a maranchino cherry in sight for miles. And she handed it to me with a love note from Bob Gresh. And I thought to myself, that boy is not studying for finals. <laughs> no, no, he is studying me. <laughs> Guys, listen. Do not get your girlfriends a hot fudge sundae tonight. If you do, you've missed the point. <laughs> we love to be known. We crave to be noticed and studied and respected. And God places this in the context of authentic humanity and sexuality. You know